You can play great pickleball without a drive, without a drop shot, or without a lob. But you can't play without a consistent serve. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, it's CJ Johnson. Welcome to Better Pickleball, where we're focused on helping players over 50 live their best lives on and off the pickleball courts. In order to play pickleball, you have to have a serve. And that's what starts the point. And it needs to be a consistent deep serve, meaning that it's somewhere around three feet from the baseline. Now, recently, Tony Roy and I did a webinar for our VI Pickleball members talking about consistent serves, the yips, and the new drop serve. Now, in this video, we're gonna talk about the basics, the things you need to do to get a consistent serve. But if you'd like to see the other two videos, the yips or the drop serve, make sure you stick around to the end and we'll give you a link to those videos. All right, so let's talk about the first thing we're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about serving where you are in the game. So as CJ mentioned, right, you don't need a drive. There's a lot of things that you don't need in order to play pickleball, right? But you need to have a serve, I right? No serve. <laughs> it's really hard to play pickleball, right? Never going to score a point if you can't serve. So, you know, the, the, the important thing about the serve, right, is that, or the, the way that we like to frame out the serve or, or explain the serve is that you need to have a serve. The serve should ideally be deep. But other than that, you don't really need to go crazy with the serve. In other words, you don't need to have, you know, uh, people ask us all the time. TJ Nines has all the time. Should I spin my serve? Do I have to hit it hard? Do I have to hit it? You kick out serve. Do I have to hit it all over the place? The answer to those questions is actually no. And really what you need to do is basically have a nice, simple, deep serve. And here's where the video is, is, is key, right? I'm going to share my, share my video now. Um, here's where the, where the video becomes key because it's not just me and CJ talking, right? We're going to show you video now of pros and how they serve. And, and so you'll, you, you make the call. CJ, you see the video okay? I can see the video just fine, Tony. Awesome. All right. Let's share the, let's start it up and see what's going on here. So the first match we're going to see here, and I'm going to pause it real quick. The first match we're going to see here, this is a, this is senior pro play. Okay. So these are four of the best senior players in the country and the world. Uh, this is at the world pickleball championship last year. They're actually playing it this weekend again, but this is one from last year. These folks are playing for money and not insignificant money. And they're in the finals playing for a gold medal. So on this side, you're, the server is in black. That's Brian Staub, right, uh, who's playing with Scott Moore. So they're playing for money. They're, this is, they're playing hard. And here's the thing. The team on this side serving, Brian and Scott, lost the first game, okay? So they're doing the best they can to win. So let's, see, let's watch Brian serve with that in mind. This is not rec play. Right? So when we see that serve, it's – not hard it's not spinny it's not it's a nice controlled deep serve to keep paul the returner behind the line to hit the return that's what he's trying to accomplish with that serve let's watch a few more so you don't think it's an outlier so here we're going to see uh you know four of the best pro players i mean not senior pro pro players right so we have kyle yates and ben johns on our on our left Ben will serve in a second against, um, uh, um, I'm uh, losing his mind, losing his, Riley Newman, Riley Newman. and uh, Zane. So um, here we go, Zane Affleck. So I want you to watch Ben John serve, right? And Ben Johns has one of the best serves in pickleball, right? Now he does spin it a little bit, but again, very controlled, a very controlled serve, nothing crazy, middle of the box, which we're going to talk about more in a little bit, Okay. Now let's watch it in the uh, Simona Jardim, best female player in the world. Okay, let's watch how she serves. Again, the, a, a tournament match. Boop. Right? Nice and deep, right? She's going to Jesse's, the returner's backhand there, but nice and deep. That's the key. The key is these serves are nice and controlled and deep. Now, let's talk a second as to why deep is important. Here we're watching another senior pro match. This is Steve Dawson serving to Scott Moore. So let's watch this serve. So this serve is short. The wobble is in the camera, not in your thing. So that's a short serve, allowing Scott to come forward, okay? So there's um, Steve Dawson serves him short, allowing Scott to come forward, and Scott to basically come all the way up to the MVZ by the time the shots hit. 
I'm going to pause it real quick to show you. So now it's Brian Staub serving, exact same court, exact same match, right? But watch the difference. So he's serving to Scott Moore, deeper serve, right, than the one before. And I'll give you a side-by-side -side in a second. Scott is farther back when he hits it, meaning that he's not as close to the NBZ line when this return gets – or when the third shot gets hit, right? So now we're going to do a side-by-side -side so you can see it. So here and, – and the reason I put VI Pickleball in there – I just highlight for you, this is the kind of analysis that we do inside of VI Pickleball. This is the kind of really concrete information that we want to bring to you to help you. So on the left, you see the deep return. On the right, you see the short return. This is where Scott's standing at the time that the third shot gets hit, right? So you can see the difference of about, you know, let's call it five or six feet. That difference adds up. That difference will impact your results as you play, okay? All right, let's see what else we got on this thing. I think we got another, um, uh, so here, what, what we've done, again, this is part of the kind of resources that we, we, we bring is basically here what we're showing you is the optimal serve target uh, that, you, uh, that, that you should serve for. And if you watch the, 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 the ones we showed you, they were all deep like this, right? Um, and uh, that's really what you need to do with the serve is get it deep like this. And what that does is it allows you a good margin, right? So anywhere in that green area is going to work, right? but it avoids the out of bounds, which is very important, right? You're not gonna make silly mistakes and it keeps it deep. That's why that other red area got marked, why? You don't wanna serve in that red area. It's not out, right? But it's not ideal, right? Because that allows the returner to come forward and be at the NVZ before the next shot gets hit. Aiming to that um, green circle, which will result in the green rectangle is really important. So basically when you look at, at your serve, right? What you wanna look at is you wanna look at dependability, right? That's the number one priority is dependability, right? You want to make sure that serve lands in. You want to make sure you're serving deep, right? And stick to the plan means don't go crazy. In other words, don't like you're serving well and you're doing well and you're doing well. And then all of a sudden you, let me try a different serve, right? You break your momentum, maybe miss it and things like that. No, 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 no. Stick to the plan on the serve. Very consistent on the serve. Leave the exciting stuff for later on in the round. Just a real quick recap. What, what Tony's saying to you is, is, is in what we're saying to you is this, is, Use the serve for where you are at right now. Start with a sound technique, okay? Make, first, you gotta make sure that you have a good serving technique. Once you have a good serving technique and you've built a good serve, you want to, to, to stay with that serve, put it in one place in the box, right? Just start by getting that good serve in one place in the box. Once you can do that like 95 plus percent of the time, then you want to start adding different serves to your routine. D don't rush it. That's usually where most people get, I think, really sidetracked.